slide is up and we have Ms. Nichols, who is here with us. Hello. Um, thank you guys all for being here and I'm excited to talk to you about Project Lead the Way. It's uh, a four-year course. Uh, it is a national curriculum and we're really excited to have it uh, with us at Gainesville. Uh, the only class that carries no prerequisite would be the principles of biomedical science. Uh, and although it is the beginning of a four-year path, we um, welcome sophomores, juniors, and seniors um, in the course. Um, next year, we'll also be offering the second year course, which is human body systems. Um, the third year and fourth year courses we will roll out as we, um, as we go along. Uh, people who are in the students who are in the criminology pathway will also be taking um, principles of biomedical science and human body systems. Uh, and those will, even though they're part of a pathway, they do count um, for you as, as electives. Um, in principles of biomedical science, we do a lot of hands-on stuff. Our first unit is forensics. We cover um, a unit of patient care, uh, um, epidemics and outbreaks, and then some, we do a little bit of some engineering uh, towards the end of the year. Trying the, the first semester is, um, again, like I said, all forensics. And then the second semester is giving you a little bit, uh, a taste of what's gonna come in the, in the following three years. Um, there is an exam, a national exam each year uh, that we take. Um, and the, the, that, that all is done online. Um, and then we'll get those scores back fairly. Um, quickly, I, from what I understand. Uh, and so there is that um, at the end of each year, uh, although there's obviously it's not an SOL class. In human body systems, the focus changes um, less on sort of a generalized view and more um, talking about, um, although it's um, some anatomy and physiology, we'll also be talking about most of the other body systems, a little bit about kinesiology, which would be how the body works together to make movement uh, and, and things along those lines. So we're looking forward to uh, having some folks try out year one. Um, if you, you know, saw what kids were doing and you were interested, we got a lot of interesting labs and things that we do. And then those who are with us for year one, we're hoping to see many of you in year two. Thank you. It's a very um, exciting program with a lot of interest in that biomedical pathway in the biomedical program. Um, so as Ms. Nichols mentioned, the um, first two years at least of the, bio, the Project Lead the Way biomedical classes are part of the criminal justice pathway. And then there's also the biomedical pathway, which is the biomedical pathway is a transferable program for our transfer students. Um, something that's important to, to point out that the, the Project Lead the Way biomedical science classes are actually career technical education credits. So they, there's a lot of science that you will be doing that's very central to the program. But when you're doing, it, it can't supplant like taking chemistry. Um, you still have science classes and you have the CTE courses as well. Um, Ms. Nichols, there's a question in the chat that, uh, excuse me, the Q&A that says, with all four biomedical courses be available by the time that current sophomores are seniors? Um, I think the official answer to that is maybe. Um, a lot of it will depend on student interest if we have enough interest to double up uh, those two courses uh, for current sophomores. Um, next year, we're definitely only offering human body systems the year after when those folks are seniors. Um, it's in discussion. Well, I guess that's where we'll leave that. Yeah. And as with every of our programs, you know, student interest drives everything um, in terms of, you know, we've got two students that sign up for a course that isn't a course that we're going to run. But if we have lots of kids, that's an indicator that we need to be paying attention and running those those courses for for our students. 